Hey there, this is gonna be a you know, five-ish minute video to give you a quick overview on how Who's Reading works. Um, so you know there's other videos, there's actually a 45 minute detailed video on how, how to use Who's Reading as a teacher. Um, but if you only have you know, five to six minutes, this is a video to watch. Okay, so let's jump in. Quick question, what does Who's Reading do? Why would you use it? Um, quick answer. Uh, it's used for independent reading engagement and comprehension. So students are reading 20 different books, you know, at a given time, uh, who's reading is going to ask some questions about what they've read and give you the data back so you know who's reading and who's comprehending their books. Um, but we have a little twist. We have a big focus on higher level thinking skills. Um, so, so that's a little bit of an intro. The page that we're looking at right now on your teacher account is your dashboard. This summarizes the work your students are doing. So I can say, see that 45 quizzes were done in the last 24 hours. And obviously there's other summary stats as you scroll down. Um, first thing I wanna talk about uh, is actually goals, which is how do you set the goals for who's reading for your class? Um, goals are kind of like an assignment. So the way to do that is you go to my roster and you, know, you can click on one, any of the classes that you teach and you click edit class. And here you determine what does a typical assignment look like? So in this example, I'm having my students do two quizzes every month. And a quiz is what students take when they finish reading the book. So students read a book, they finish it, they take a quiz. Um, so this is telling you, telling the students that every month they should read at least two books and pass at least two quizzes. Um, you can change the time period on the right. Below, we have supplemental tasks. Uh, quickly, these are different assignments that you can give students. So uh, a practice question is going to be a one-off short response question that they could, the students can answer at any time in the book. So if they're chapter five, they can answer a practice question. Book reviews are, are pretty self-explanatory. You can have students also keep track of minutes and pages. Um, but the main focus of who's reading is students taking quizzes when they finish the book, which is why we really put that front and center. So step one, you assign your goals. You're done, you click save. Step two is where you get to differentiate. And this part's really, really interesting. So let's click on Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell, uh, we can, on the right-hand side, customize her assignment. So if you wanted her to have only one quiz to do per month, because maybe she's reading really long books, for example, uh, you could control that, customize that on, on the right-hand side. You can also have her, you know, to have, Fewer fill in the blank questions. You can give her sentence starters, for example, um, which is a nice scaffold for the writing portion of the quiz. On the left hand side, this is where you get to differentiate the difficulty of who's reading for Tinkerbell. So, say she's in sixth grade, but she's at a fifth grade academic level. By changing it to fifth grade or fourth grade or any of the other grades, you're effectively controlling the difficulty of questions that Tinkerbell sees and also influencing how the AI scores her responses. So all of the writing pieces are scored by a, a, an AI powered rubric. And that rubric is, is set, has different expectations and thresholds for each grade level. So by changing her academic level, you're changing the difficulty of questions and how Tinkerbell's work gets evaluated. So we set our goals, we differentiated, um, the next thing I want to show you is how, you know, how does the program look from a student perspective? And this is going to be a quick review, but um, so you know that your teacher account comes to the demo account. So this is my demo account. Click on switch to demo. And this is going to turn my account into a student account. So um, on my left hand side, I can see all the goals that were set. Um, these match up with the ones that we set for the class. So it works out. Uh, so far I've done zero out of the two quizzes that have been assigned to me. But imagine I wanna do my first quiz, I click take quiz and you know I search for the book that I've read. Uh, let's put it Frindle. Um, one of the really, really important things to know about who's reading is that we work with a massive library of books. So last year, more than half a million different books have been logged on who's reading. So uh, pretty much any book that your students are reading, they can get questions about on who's reading. So I'm going to just click Frindle, um, and I'll give you kind of, you know, a 20 second explanation on what's happening here. So a quiz has two parts to it. The first part we're looking at right now is the fill in the blank question. The second part is going to be an open ended uh, short response question. So there's typically three fill in the blank questions. You can have up to five of them. 
and these are going to be a DOK1 factory call questions. Second part is going to be uh, default one, but up to three short response questions. The short response questions are scored by AI, um, and that connects to actually the differentiation screen that we saw earlier. Um, more on that in other videos. And so when a student finishes the quiz, they're going to earn coins, which they can then use to purchase really cool things in the Owl Shop. Uh, the Owl Shop is kind of our gamification universe, and students really enjoy showing off their Owl to everyone else in their class. That's what we're seeing here is uh, the class tree. So back to the teacher account, I want to wrap up with the reports. So your students, you set your goals, your students are doing the work that you assign them to do. Now you want to know how they're actually performing. So to see that, you go to data in the top left, and there's a whole lot of reports which are the subject of another video. Um, but right now we're looking at the goals report. This tells you your student's progress on you know the goals that you set. The books report is going to show you each quiz and the same thing with the quizzes report, it's going to show you each quiz that was completed, what score the students get, and you can open up the quiz and see what they wrote and why they got that score. Um, it's really, really beautiful, the amount of detail that you get. Um, but that is the quick overview on who's reading. Uh, we hope you find it really, really, really helpful to you and your students. And if you want more information, there's a lot of other videos that go into greater depth. All right, well, good luck this school year.